chicken stir fry using spaghetti instead of noodles. It's a perfect uh, replacement for noodles. I've weighed out about 60 grams of spaghetti. Spaghetti is actually a gram a piece. So if you wanted to count them out, it would make life a lot easier. I work out at 30 grams per person. I'm going to put my water onto boil. That's three quarters of a pan. So putting it on high. And I'm going to put a lid on it to make it more efficient. I'm going to prepare my chicken on a red board. I've got two chicken breasts on a red board. I'm going to put it on my board. I'm going to just trim it a little bit. I've got quite a large knife here because I want to just cut a little bit of the fat off. And trim that little bit there too. I'm going to chop it into nice slim pieces. A stir fry, as I've said before, cooks really quickly. It's very healthy. And it's a very versatile dish. You can add all sorts of different ingredients. You can do beef as well. You can do pork also. In a wok, I'm going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil and I'm going to start cooking my chicken. A bit before I start adding the vegetables because otherwise I don't, I don't want my vegetables to go soggy and I need to make sure my chicken is cooked thoroughly. Whilst that's cooking, I'm going to prepare my vegetables. So an onion, as always, cut down the middle. We're going to cut this into uh, slices today because all of this food needs to be potentially able to be picked up and eaten with chopsticks. I'm going to take both ends off and I'm just going to slice it like so. Bridge and claw grip. I'm going to do a whole onion. Half a pepper. I'm going to do two, two halves, one orange and one red, just to add colour. Stir fry is a very visual dish. You can put any vegetables in that you like that cook quickly because it needs to go into a wok. Carrots need to be cut very finely because they're quite a dense vegetable and we don't want them to be raw. Cooking nicely. I'm going to just make sure I'm stirring it. It's on a low seat of low heat so it doesn't burn. I'm now going to add my pasta to my boiling water. Check the, uh, check the instructions on the packet. Mine says about 10 minutes. Like I said before, gently push it in and then we're going to turn the heat down and pop a lid on. Uh, I've got a cabbage here which I'm going to use. It's quite a, an old one but I don't want to throw it away. So a really good tip about refreshing a lot of vegetables when they're looking a bit limp like that is we're going to chop it really finely like so and I'm going to drop it in some cold water and it brings it back to life. Carrots, I'm going to prepare them, peel them already. I'm going to slice them like that and I'm going to cut them into sticks, chunky match sticks because my peppers are quite chunky. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly turn my wok off and remove my chicken from the wok. And I'm going to cook my vegetables and add the chicken back in at the last minute. I'm going to add all my chopped vegetables. You can also, of course, use bean sprouts if you like those. I don't have any of those today. Give it a good stir and I'm just going to let those soften a little bit. Because the whole point of stir fry is it's to the bites. Now I'm going to prepare my garlic. I want it nice and chopped, nice and small. Chop it up nice and small. It's going in a little bit later because I don't want it to burn. I'm also going to add, this is optional, an inch of ginger. This is really good for your digestion and it gives it a really nice authentic flavour. So you're going to peel off the skin using a knife or you could use a vegetable peeler. And that what I'm going to do is chop it really finely but you could use a grater, the coarse side of a normal cheese grater works fine. I have my ginger to pan. While I've been chopping the ginger and the garlic, I have actually been intermittently stirring my food. If it does, get, start sticking a little. Instead of adding oil, add a little bit of water to prevent it sticking too much. Now everything is in apart from my cabbage. I'm going to allow this just to, the, the cabbage just to um, heat through a little bit. 
and then I'm going to throw in my chicken. I'm going to check my pasta. This needs to be al dente, like the vegetables, which is to the bite. I'm now going to add my chicken back into the pan. If the pieces of chicken are a little bit too big, you can cut them up just inside the pan. I'm going to add a generous dash of light soy sauce. I didn't actually put any Chinese spice in it, but you still can if you want to. That needs to go in at the beginning when you fry the vegetables to begin with. I'm gonna add my cooked spaghetti to the pan now. To be honest, I've actually got a lot more ingredients in there than I thought I would have, so I probably could have done with some more pasta. I would have said 100 grams rather than the 60 that I put in. This will easily serve three people. I also did put both the chicken breasts in because the one did not look enough. Once, I, once I've added all the ingredients into the pan, lastly the pasta, I'm just gonna to toss it around with the soy sauce and all the other ingredients so it's all coated with the lovely flavors of the ginger and the garlic and serve.